The second, third, fourth, and fifth toes each contain three bones and two joints. A hammer toe results when there is a flexion contracture at the proximal interphalangeal joint. This leads to prominent bone at the joint on top of the toe and can also lead to pressure at the tip of the toe. A mallet toe results when there is a flexion contracture at the distal interphalangeal joint. This leads to prominent bone at the top of this joint and can also lead to pressure at the tip of the toe. A claw toe results when there is a flexion contracture at both joints within the toe. This leads to prominence of both joints and can also lead to pressure at the tip of the toe. Shoes do not cause toe deformities, yet if shoes do not fit properly, they will aggravate toe deformities. Common causes of toe deformities include congenital or inherited predisposition to the deformity, structural bone deformity, imbalance of tendons and muscles, flat foot deformity, and peripheral neuropathy or other conditions affecting nerves. Common symptoms of toe deformities include pain, which is generally sharp and throbbing in nature, and is felt on top of the involved joint and also at the tip of the toe, numbness in the toe, corn formation on the top of the involved joint, callus formation on the tip of the toe, swelling, limited ability to wear shoes comfortably, and limited ability to participate in physical activities. Conservative treatment options are available for toe deformities. If pain and limitation continues after all conservative care has been exhausted, then surgical intervention is generally recommended. I only recommend surgery for pain and limitation and never for cosmetic reasons. Conservative treatments include deeper and wider shoes, custom foot orthotics, ice and elevation, medications including anti-inflammatories, Tylenol and oral steroids, steroid injection therapy, avoiding flip-flops, flats, and barefoot walking, supportive open shoe gear to keep pressure off the prominent bone, supportive shoe gear including a deep and wide control running shoe, padding over the prominent joint, and routine treatment of corns and calluses. If all conservative care fails, then surgical intervention is recommended. There are many surgical options for toe deformities, and if surgery is indicated, I will choose the right procedure for you. The goal of surgery is to reduce the prominent joint, take pressure off at the tip of the toe, and prevent recurrence of the deformity. The surgical recovery depends on the procedure performed. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, please call the Timonium Foot and Ankle Center today to schedule an appointment.